Hello, Sun Prairie track and field families. I just want to take a few minutes to go over the information at the parent meeting last night. The first thing we talked about was track and track is a large part of becoming a better athlete, being part of a larger family and having measurable improvements. Uh, the track family last year was over 240 kids. That's uh, tons of athletes, tons of families and a lot of coaches. Um, it's a great uh, community to be part of, a great family to be part of. And um, track and fields end up being a, a time and place where, where kids can find a home and, uh, and, and participate in a sport um, to become a better athlete. During this video, we want to accomplish the following. We want to introduce families to the Sun Prairie track and field. If you're new to this, you're going to want to watch the video and make sure you read all the expectations. Uh, we want to make sure both parents and athletes understand their expectations and we want to prepare for the season. The track does start on March 6th at 345 in the high school wrestling room. We do have a great coaching staff. Uh, we have, you know, about 20 to 21 coaches. And then uh, if you came to the meeting, you should have gotten a few different handouts, the program handbook, including a blue page, which should be returned, uh, the practice and meet calendar. You can also find that in Google Calendar, the track history book, and then online, you should visit Badger Sporting Goods and look at the clothing order. Our program philosophy involves three different parts. It's athletes, parents, and coaches. All three of those items working together creates a successful program. Track is family first. Uh, our expectations are that you work to your full potential and compete to your full potential. And that includes in the classroom, on the track, in the weight room, in the community. Uh, we want kids working to their full potential. It should be a positive experience. And most importantly, it should prepare you for life. The student athlete um, expectations are there should be a commitment to the team for uh, a couple hours a day between 3.45 and 6 o'clock. Spring break is a common question. That is family first. If you're going to go somewhere, we just ask that you communicate that with us. And we do have high expectations for both behavior and grades. Uh, please take some time to review the uh, student athlete expectations with your child. A big part of track and field is communications with 240 athletes and so many coaches and parents. Um, you can expect to receive weekly emails from me uh, in a PDF form. Athletes will have access to Huddle. It's a website and app to share videos. Absences uh, need to be reported. Students should email them to a coach and then CC parents on the message uh, so we can all stay in the loop. And then finally, if you're not getting my track family emails, please email me um, at the email listed below um, to get added. We are on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Uh, if you are a part of that social media network, uh, please add us and follow us. Big thing for practice is being prepared. Uh, workout clothing includes uh, being prepared for weather, having athletic shoes. Uh, we do hit the pool and um, kids will need swimwear. Uh, same rules for track apply to Phi Ed. And uh, remember, it's not a fashion show. The other side of this, we need a healthy lifestyle from the student. We need um, you should bring bottled water, uh, have a quality lunch, snack. Um, it's important to have all that nutrition and getting plenty of sleep. The requirements to participate include a uh, blue and gold card, which you'll get from the athletic office once you have everything in. There's a blue track contract that's part of the expectations, and that means you can practice starting March 6th. Uh, new this year is parents will pay online. Okay, so. Um, through Infinite Campus, the athletic department will contact you a few days into practice and uh, you will be able to make your payment online. If you have any questions, you can talk to the high school athletic office and then uh, at Cardinal Heights during lunch on Wednesdays. There is a website with all the information and contacts you need. You just need to go to the schools and then Sun Prairie High School and then go to the athletics and find spring sign up information. We do have tryouts and we do have cuts. Everyone makes the team as long as they're working hard and following the rules. And it's important for athletes to remember that track is a privilege. Anyone who does not demonstrate a good attitude, character, and work ethic will be dismissed. So um, we don't cut based on talent. We cut based on work ethic and following the rules. The event selection for athletes is a collaborative effort between both athletes and coaches. Um, athletes new to track, we place in a variety of events to see how they're doing and see what best fits them. And there are other factors that go into event selection, like athletic potential. Uh, what we need is a team. Uh, if students have grown from the previous year, we may end up switching events 
And especially with pole vault, there are safety concerns. If an athlete can't perform to a certain level, uh, we'll have to take them out of that event. There are parent expectations. Um, please be encouraging to your student athlete, communicate absences. Uh, we are looking for a lot of help with the booster club this year, uh, volunteering for the concession stand, making donations, and just to be part of the family, uh, be a parent, enjoy the season, remain positive, and please let us do the coaching. The Sun Prairie Track Booster Club, I just want to cover this quickly. The purpose of the booster club is to assist us with fundraisers, help run the concession stand, and host track events. If you're wanting to help, please contact me. Uh, we are looking for volunteers to lead concessions, uh, work at events. Um, and then we're going to have a donation at the start of the year. The, um, the expenses for track and field have gone up with the number of athletes. Our budget has not changed at all in the past decade. So uh, with more athletes, that means more expenses and covering things like the banquet, awards, uh, meets and snacks, um, things like that. Uh, we're going to ask for a donation at the start of the year. Our coaching staff has expectations too. Our number one priority is to make sure everyone is successful. Uh, we will be coming every day uh, with practice plans, ready to communicate with athletes and coach them. And we make decisions for the team, um, first of all, based on what's best for the team and what's best for the athlete. A typical practice starts at 345 and we start as a team and then we'll go our separate ways by event groups, utilizing all the great facilities we have here in Sun Prairie. And student athletes can expect to head home about six o'clock. We do have a variety of meets. We did add another JV meet at Waterloo this year. Uh, we're always trying to get more junior varsity and varsity two meets added. And our big focus for the year for everyone is the championship part of the season, the JV championship, the big eight championships, and the regional sectionals and state for the WIA tournament. Determining the roster at meets is all based on the ability of the athlete. Um, both physical and mental. It is not based on grade level. So it is possible for a freshman to be on varsity and a, and a, var and a senior to be on JV. Um, our big focus is also to keep um, our athletes at the right level of competition. We don't want to go to a meet where it's too easy for them or too difficult. Like I said before, please visit Badger Sporting Goods and make your purchases, uh, not only for the athlete, but also for the fans and family. We do a cookie dough fundraiser for equipment and uniforms and supporting 240 athletes is quite an ordeal. Uh, we also have a fundraiser including uh, concession stands and we're working on a food night. There is an athlete meeting on Wednesday, February 22nd. Your athlete should either attend the 731 in my room here at Cardinal Heights or the 330 uh, meeting in Coach Frank's room at the high school. So let's review. Uh, first of all, the program philosophy is everyone should enjoy a positive experience. Students should work hard, be part of the team, and prepare themselves for life. We do make a team selection um, based on your work ethic and following team expectations. It's very important to get a calendar uh, established for your family um, and plan meets and practices accordingly. Don't forget to review the expectations for uh, with your student athlete. Practice starts on March 6th. And finally, uh, make sure you're talking to the athletic department, reviewing the information, adding any social media, and uh, looking at the clothing order. And a big thing for all our students is to con continue training. Uh, any questions, please contact me at my email. You can also find the team on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And if you're interested in helping lead the Booster Club, please sign up. Uh, you can contact me, and then I will forward you to the people um, that will uh, help assign different you know, a task for the Booster Club. So once again, parents, thanks for taking time to watch this video. If you have any questions, please contact me and uh, let's go Cardinals.